like Paul, we have to consider, somebody say the truth, in the natural, we're small. Um, Philippians 4.13, come on, pastor, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, um, um, Romans 8.37, uh, uh, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. How are you telling me we're small? Well, well, watch this. Here's lesson one in our lesson. Our ability, our victory, is only through God living in us through the person of Jesus Christ. I said our ability. How many of you have abilities and talents? Amen. Do you know where they came from? God. Without him, you can do nothing. And if you don't understand that, then you develop spiritual pride, which is one of the problems. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Nothing that's done in this sacred desk is done because of our articulation and our intelligence. It's done by the power and person of the Holy Ghost. In and of ourselves, we are little. We are small. What do I remind people every time we pray, pray for them and they get healed? We didn't do it. God did. I am strong in the Lord, but I'm not strong in Paul. My, my, my. In Paul, I'm small. In Elijah, you're little. In Ken, you're small. In Carol, you're small. In Gary, you're small. In Denise, you're small. In Hope, you're small. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But these people have so many tremendous talents and abilities and gifts. Yes, and in yourself, you are small. Without God operating through you and those gifts, you'd have nothing. That kind of puts stuff in perspective. That's why the Apostle Paul, let me just go right back over here. He calls himself the less, less than the least of all saints. In other words, he had, ooh, that's so good, Lord. He had the right perspective in the natural so God could elevate and use him in the spirit. If you will not humble yourself before the almighty God and let him exalt you, you will never be exalted in the spirit. You might puff yourself up in the flesh. You might big up yourself, like we say in Jamaica, in the flesh, but you will never have the anointing power of the Holy Ghost on you, your life, or whatever you're doing. 